Hello guys, it's Nona Prince and I finally watched Asuran starring Dhanush and directed by Vetri Maran. Vetri Maran has become a brand now. For me, first Varad Chennai and now this. My recommendation for this review is go check out Article 15. It's on Netflix. The film tackles the caste system. In some way, it's similar to this film. So do check it out and tell me your thoughts in the comments. Off the back, this is not a hero film. This is not a mass film. And this is established within 15 to 20 minutes of the film. Where I see Dhanush's character going door to door, bowing down to everyone. No mass hero will do that in a film. And that tells you it's not about a hero. It's about the character and the story. The world that Vetri Maran builds around his character, his stories, has depth, they are dense, layered. They have their own characteristics. There's more to the world than just the story of the main characters or protagonist. It's white, like the forest and farms in the film. Now let's talk about the themes of the film. Cycle of violence, oppression by the powerful. As Indian films are always in two parts, before interval and after interval. This movie also had two parts, when Dhanush was young and when he's old. Both of them show the oppression by the powerful, the cycle of violence, what violence leads to, and how Dhanush's character Sivasami is running from it. It reminds you of Logan, which was inspired by Shane, which had the same concept. A man who has a violent past cannot let the violence go. Some way or the other, it comes back. With Logan also, X-23 was his daughter, and like him, she's also violent. And his whole life has been around violence and he cannot get rid of it. And he has to go away to make her life better and to end the cycle of violence. And similarly here, Dhanush has to go away and make his son understand that violence will lead nowhere. Power corrupts. That's why the dialogue is famous. With great powers come great responsibilities. And it's so true, you can go throughout the history. Person with the power gets corrupted and starts oppressing people under him. And that is proven in this film. The haunting fact about this movie is that the story is not fiction actually. It happens. It happens in real life. The only fictional part is the result. Is our protagonist fighting back. But still, our hero does not get away from everything. Like in other commercial mass films, at the end everything is happy, everything comes back to normal and a hero wins. It's not that here at all. In screenwriting, it's taught that a character needs to take an irreversible decision. That's how the plot, the story becomes engaging. And that happened in this movie. This film creeps me out. And I'll tell you why. It questions my morality. It questions my principles of non-violence. Because when I saw the violence in the film, first of all, it was built very well. The torture, the oppression, our characters faced. I was rooting for them to go hit them back, kill them, rip them apart. I was satisfied when he was killing those guys. The Asura. The demon in me was coming out. And I'm not okay with that. I question myself. Because I'm rooting for them. That means if I was in their place, I would have done the same thing. But is that right? The message of the film is education is the answer. To end violence. To step up in the society and fight back. And violence is not the answer. As Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. The problem is, there are millions of Sivasami around the world which are still getting oppressed and I cannot do anything. Can I go and tell all of them, don't worry, don't go to violence, learn, ed get educated and everything is fine. Is that the answer? I don't think so. I am telling them to be peaceful so I can live my life peacefully and you can get educated and you know fight back slowly, slowly. What is the answer? Is there even an answer? Now Karian, who killed his elder son and was gonna kill his younger son, he fights him and leaves him. He doesn't kill him. Why? I was like, no, kill him. Don't let him go away. Kill him. But what happened later? When he went to his masters who told him to do that, they didn't even care about him. And he learned his lesson. The sound design and the music was fabulous. The cinematography, there were so many single takes. I love single takes. Because the amount of work and choreography goes behind it. The actors have to up their game. There were so many heart-wrenching scenes. When his elder son dies. When in the flashback, his love of life dies. His family dies. Oof. I cannot watch this film again. Watching all those scenes, the violence satisfies me more. When he was just slicing those guys, I was like, no, they are not dead yet. Kill them. Rip them apart. Cut every part of their body. Now, there were explainers in the beginning what how the how the village works and what's happening with the land and everything then there were also explanation while in the backstory what's happening i didn't get any of it but at the end it didn't even matter because as you watch the film you understand what's happening the second half it felt little dragged because i think the whole 
बैक स्टोरी एवरी थिंग वॉज न्यू एक्सेप्ट धनुष सो दे हैड टू इस्टेब्लिश एवरी थिंग इन दैट विलेज सो वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स हैपनिंग सो आई थिंक दैट्स वाई इट टूक लॉन्ग एंड इट फेल ट्रैक्ट चिदम्बरम दैट स्टूपिट किड He was getting on my nerves. I just wanted to go in the screen and hit him. Like your father told you to sit there and don't move. So don't move. Listen to your father. What are you doing? It felt like that character was, you know, doing dumb things and getting into trouble. So just the plot could move ahead. And I think that's the only nitpick I would do for this film. Other than that, I'm just self questioning my morality. So guys, that's it. That was my thoughts on the film. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. No problems. If you are new to the channel, check out other videos. And if you like them too, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. I've seen Jellycut too, but I'm planning a special video on it, so it will take time. Stay tuned.